underscoring the importance of Indian Ocean, both strategically and economically, Prime Minister Narendra Modi, on his three-nation five-day visit, succeeded in unveiling India's Sagar policy, that is security and growth for all in the region. Prime Minister Modi reached out to the immediate and friendly extended maritime neighbours of the littoral states of Seychelles, Mauritius and Sri Lanka. With each of these littoral states, India has strong and multifaceted relationship and all of them occupy a very important place in her foreign policy. In the first Prime Ministerial visit to Seychelles since 1981, Prime Minister Modi signalled a strong reiteration of the Indian political commitment to partner in the development of Seychelles. Seychelles has a population of 90,000 people and 10% of them are of Indian origin. Both Prime Minister Narendra Modi and Seychelles President James Michel underlined the importance of comprehensive cooperation in the Indian Ocean region. The two leaders witnessed signing of four agreements, cooperation in hydrographic survey, renewable energy, infrastructure development, and to jointly develop navigation charts and electronic navigational charts for sale to other countries. Prime Minister Modi announced giving one more Dornier aircraft to Seychelles. India had given the first Dornier aircraft to Seychelles in 2013. Besides, the Prime Minister launched Coastal Surveillance Radar Project, which is yet another symbol of India Seychelles cooperation. The radar will keep a watch on the coastline and the Exclusive Economic Zone or EEZ and will combat piracy. Seychelles will soon be a full partner in the maritime security cooperation between India, Maldives and Sri Lanka. The two leaders agreed to establish a joint working group to expand cooperation on the blue economy. The agreement on hydrographic survey adds a new dimension to the maritime cooperation. Prime Minister Modi was accorded a rousing reception by the expatriate Indians. An enthused Prime Minister Modi greeted them in Gujarati and went on to add that the ocean unites and not divides the people of the two countries. The people too spiritedly cheered him and raised slogans of Modi, Modi and Bharat Mata Ki Jai that rent the air. On the second leg of his three-nation visit, Prime Minister Modi arrived in Port Louis in Mauritius, where 70% of the population is of Indian origin. Prime Minister Modi had one-on-one -on -one meeting with Mauritius Prime Minister Sir Anirudh Jagannath. He recently won the election in December 2014 and came back to power. The agreements between the two countries included MOU in the field of ocean economy, Program for cultural cooperation for 2015-18, Protocol for the import of fresh mangoes from India, MOU for improvement in sea and air transportation facilities at Agalega Island of Mauritius, MOU on cooperation in traditional system of medicine and homeopathy. In a rare honour, Prime Minister Modi was chief guest at the Mauritius National Day. It coincides with the day when Mahatma Gandhi had launched the Dandi March in 1930. Prime Minister Narendra Modi was invited to address the Mauritius National Assembly. He paid homage to Sir Sivasagar Ram Gulam for leading Mauritius to freedom and for his vision and leadership in building India-Mauritius partnership. Prime Minister Modi commissioned the offshore patrol vessel Barracuda in the service of the National Coast Guard of Mauritius. Barracuda is a symbol of the shared commitment of the two countries to peace and security in the Indian Ocean, which is the common maritime home. We seek a future for the Indian Ocean that lives up to the name of Sagar security and growth for all in the region. An ocean that connects our world should become the pathway of peace and prosperity for all. On the economic side, India offered a concessional line of credit of $500 million for civil infrastructure projects in Mauritius. 
Prime Minister Modi visited Aprawasi Ghat, where indentured labor landed in 1834 from India. The 180th anniversary of the arrival of indentured labor in Mauritius was celebrated in 2014. On the last leg of his tour of the three island nations of the Indian Ocean, Prime Minister Narendra Modi visited Sri Lanka, the first to undertake a standalone visit since 1987. The India-Sri Lanka relations are undergoing a transformational change, which has acquired a new bounce in energy after the formation of the new government in Colombo in January this year. Prime Minister Modi and Sri Lankan President Maithripala Sirisena held their second summit-level meeting in a month's time. The discussions covered all the substantive issues, including Sri Lanka's new journey of peace, reconciliation and progress. We believe that early and full implementation of the 13th Amendment and going beyond it would contribute to this process. The need for finding a long-term solution to the fishermen's issue was underscored. It was agreed that Fishermen's Associations of India and Sri Lanka should meet at the earliest to find a mutually acceptable arrangement. Prime Minister Modi announced a slew of decisions to encourage people-to-people -people contacts, improve connectivity and increase tourism. The decisions included extending visa on arrival for Sri Lankan citizens from Sinhala and Tamil New Year on April 14, 2015. Air India will soon start direct flights between New Delhi and Colombo. Fresh line of credit of $318 million for the railways which will be used to procure rolling stock and to restore and upgrade existing railway track. Currency swap pact of $1.5 billion. Both the countries to develop an oil hub in Trincomalee. Assistance for construction of Rabindranath Tagore Auditorium at Ruhuna University in Matara. MOU on cooperation in youth affairs which is an important long-term investment in the relationship. India will cooperate in developing the Ramayana Trail in Sri Lanka, besides the Buddhist circuit in India. A festival of India in Sri Lanka will be organized later this year. In a rare honor, Prime Minister Narendra Modi addressed the Sri Lankan Parliament, where he spoke of his abiding respect for the shared heritage and the commitment to the common future. Prime Minister Modi visited the IPKF memorial and paid homage to the IPKF soldiers who made the supreme sacrifice during the peacekeeping mission from 1987 to 1990 in Sri Lanka. Talai Mannar is the nearest point of contact between Sri Lanka and India where Prime Minister Modi inaugurated Talai Mannar railway station. He flagged off Talai Mannar Madhu road train Prime Minister Modi became the first Indian Prime Minister to visit Jaffna. In Jaffna, he unveiled the foundation plaque for the Jaffna Cultural Center. The Prime Minister also offered prayers at Naguleshwaram Temple in Jaffna. Handing over some of the 50,000 houses India is building, the Prime Minister expressed joy that his last engagement in Sri Lanka was aimed at wiping tears from the eyes of those who suffered. <laughs> कि मेरा दो दिवस यात्रा का एक आखरी कार्यक्रम है वो दुखियों के आंसू पहुंचने का कार्यक्रम है मुसीबत में जिंदगी गुजारने वालों को एक नई आशा नया विश्वास पैदा करने का कार्यक्रम है और इस कार्यक्रम से मुझे सर्वाधिक संतोष हो रहा है एट अनुराधापुरा प्राइम मिनिस्टर मोदी विजिटेड द श्री महाबोधि ट्री brought by Mahindra and Sanghamitra during the period of Ashoka in a golden vase. He, along with the Sri Lankan president, offered prayers at the site. Prime Minister Modi's landmark visit sought to build a bridge with the countries in the region that rests on the strong pillars of shared inheritance and shared values and the vision and belief in the shared destiny.